Well, that's a very good point. Now you mentioned yeah. you, you you hit something else on there. That this is this mm. notion that it has to be enforced. Yes. It has to be a military force that that holds people together somehow. That you know that that this that this element and and and, and that's what you say. So how how is this now going to, uh, you know, not to take you off the the qu- answering the question because I do want to mm. know how how it differentiates and and this, especially with regards to the to the use of money, um, and your new system is still going to to use money. But how is this? What what would happen to the military and what would happen to these aspects about it of of um, of our day to day lives at the moment? I'm guessing you're not going to abolish the military and the police force overnight. So obviously, you need the, the police to maintain internal order, um, but eventually, you will hope that it will be at a much reduced level. I mean, our defence force doesn't exist to uh, compared to what was before. So I mean, there's not much to do in that direction. Uh, there's one other thing I, I, I would like to uh, stress why Ubuntu, in fact, offers the only solution, because the current paradigm is not working. And, in fact, it will never work. Uh, in, in one of the papers I wrote, I, I mentioned the uh, the Gini coefficient. Uh, Corrado Gini was a statistician who, uh, over 100 years ago, um, uh, worked out this coefficient for calculating the distribution of income in different countries. And I just want to share the, the, the current figures in South Africa. 10% of the population uh, earn 50% of the national income, 40% earn 7%, and 20% earn 1.5%. Wow. We have the worst ratio in the world. What? In uh, And this is quite ironic. During the high point of apartheid in 1970, the, the, the Gini coefficient was 0.49. The, it's, the way that the uh, coefficient is calculated, if it is one, then one person controls everything. Uh, so the lowest is currently 0.24, uh, and that is – there's many countries like Denmark and uh, other Scandinavian countries. And then it rises up. The average is 45. And as I said, we were 49 in 1970. We are now on 0.70. We have the worst uh, – um, uh, coefficient in the world. And that proves that the existing system cannot work and it has absolutely no future. Uh, therefore, we have to take no, on, on, we have to adopt alternatives. There's not, there's not even a discussion point because uh, the maldistribution of, of wealth and income in this country is so great, uh, eventually there is going to be some consequence. It, it may be a revolution, I don't know, but uh, there has to be a change, and unfortunately, none of the other parties are addressing this problem.